Defender's Finals, please. Well, it could go Grand Finals. That we'll is see. entirely possible. But we'll see later. That. And you were right. We are going to see a Peach Ditto. Yep. I am very interested to see how this works. I'm pretty sure Lima definitely learning a little bit of that Peach. Probably a mixture from Oryx and Samsora. They are good friends. So I wouldn't be surprised to Mistake see some... Well. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see some very interesting tricks coming out from both of these players. I'm very eager to see what, we're gonna, what these players are going to pull out. Well, we've seen, a, we've seen a lot of Lima's Peach tonight. And, you know, you can kind of see that he's... He really understands that Peach needs to stay in advantage state for as long as possible. And we... Anybody knows that Lima is uh, very patient when he's in uh, advantage state. And he understands that... It's very uh, important that you don't drop that, but yeah, countering the <laughs> what up smash. What's the counter? Yeah. Who does that? Um, I mean, I mean, who throws out the up smash and then who reads it with a counter? These are these are two uh, pretty crazy players. Man. man, I'm not. This is not my pay grade, dude. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that read was. I don't know what happened. That was insane. I mean, pretty dead even game right now. Both these characters, you know, I mean, since it is a bit of pretty much, and these percents pretty much at equal points of kill potential right now. Yeah, but oh, again, really? let's trump backer. I mean, this has been getting both people. Uh, this got this got a Motoquan two or three times. This got Oryx for that first stock. I mean, Lima really showing that trump back air. I mean, ain't nobody expecting that. Something, something that uh. Oryx doesn't do a lot, and I think that's part of the reason that was able to work on Emoticon uh, and others as well, is just because, you know, uh, our, our main Peach player here, Oryx, you know, you see, he, he's he's very aggressive off stage. He doesn't do the waiting for the ledge trump backer. That's a Ooh! stitch, and now Lima has it. Oh, now never mind. There it goes. There it goes. Just falls down. The only the only thing that I that makes me sad when I'm playing Peach is when my opponent just throws Mr. Saturn off stage. Like, that just, that just fills me with, like, sorrow. Like, you just... <laughs> He, he, was, he, was, he was just cute, man. He was just hanging out. Yeah. But Oryx finally got to take that first stock. Definitely no lead for Lima right here. Oryx making it right back up and taking a little bit of a lead. Mm -hmm. Importantly, resetting it back to neutral because Lima had him floating in the corner, and if he ran out of float and Lima was able to put him off stage, it would be a really bad position for Oryx because then you have to deal with Lima's ledge trapping, uh, which we're about to see right here. Which, I mean, coming as a Bayonetta player, his ledge trapping game is already insane. And then coming in with Peach character who's no slouch off stage in the ledge trap department at all. I mean, that's terrifying. Yeah, that's and you can and you can see right there, Lima understood that Oryx is just very aggressive when his opponent is off stage. Mm -hmm. uh, it's something we saw earlier with um, you know a couple of different players, but particularly you know Oryx is another one of those guys that just gets so aggressive when the player's off stage where it might you know be better for him to just be a little bit more patient, take that page out of Lima's book. Yeah. Something I do know from Oryx is while he does like to be aggressive, at the same time, I've seen him a lot of times wait at ledge for what his opponent's going to do, especially when he's in a strong advantage state. But I guess since he's been playing from behind pretty much this entire set game so far, he's been he's been felt to the need to be aggressive, mm -hmm. which I think is something Lima is definitely taking back. Ooh, that move was so cool. That was so, so crispy. Yeah. Oh. Order is going to do it, yeah. Really good stuff going out to both players. Pretty much a last hit scenario. Yeah. I mean, Oryx definitely within up smash percent to kill Lima, and Lima just you know taking any you know pretty much any hit on Peach would have killed. So. Yeah. I'm, that, what I'm what I'm seeing so far is that it's simply because of how much longer he's been playing uh, the character. Oryx has a better uh, a better on stage game. Uh, I think than Lima does, whereas Lima is uh, a lot better at controlling the air and controlling the offstage. And maybe perhaps that's why we're seeing Final Destination here, simply because, you know, Oryx now doesn't have to worry about the platforms. He can let Lima reset to neutral and then take control of the ground as many times as he needs to. Exactly, I think. Ooh, Stitch! Okay. We've nope. seen like four Stitches in this game. None of them have done it. I'm just waiting for the one that's just gonna wreck someone. Gone so just quickly that a hipster would write a song about it. Oh my god. Anyways, Lima's got center stage right now. Oryx busting right in there with that grab, getting a really good read on Lima's float bounces. So now we'll see if Lima will mix up the timing. Yeah, having taken a pretty decent lead, about 30%. Nothing, nothing to scoff at, but you know, definitely Oryx playing very well with it right now, understanding that he just really needs to do his best to keep a neutral and punish Lima for doing moves that he isn't, you know, for doing neutral options, he isn't as familiar with as a less experienced beach. Yeah. Dead even right now, just 2% separating the two players. Yeah, and I mean, again, we've seen mostly uh, consistently, you know, Lima taking the lead, but 
You'll see, I mean, Oryx, again, just understands the character so well. It's, it's, it's like watching somebody ride a skateboard. Like, you can tell that he just understands it. Well, he really wants a good turnip, doesn't he? He does, man. He wants to get back to that stitch. Or, or Mr. Sad. Uh, Mr. Sad, they don't sleep here, too. I can, I can guarantee you, if one of these characters uh, pulls a bomb, the other one is going to get the kill with it. You almost guarantee it? I, I, I'm like 80% sure of that. I take those odds. You take the 20%? I take the 20%. Okay. Right now, pretty much dead, even. Orex, I mean, this is a really good ditto. This is phenomenal gameplay coming out for both players. Just because Oryx, you're seeing two people that don't play completely differently to the point where you're like, okay, there are two ways to play this Ooh. character. But you see the small differences, right? And you can see even them picking up a couple of things that the other person's got. Oh! Going for the big I think time. about like five more percent that would have killed him. Maybe. That is, I mean, Peach isn't standing in light, and with that much rage, that is going to blow Peach up. It's it's all about the rage. I think I think actually if Oryx had had about like 15, if, if Oryx had had the rage that he has now, that might be good. I, I, I would doubt it. Especially if he had the rage that he has now. He's got Stitch. Oh, yep. And does get the kill finally. That wasn't really necessary to get, that's not another Stitch. No, that's okay. just a, that's just, just a, a, just a regular one. Yeah, it's a squinty face. Or whatever those are called. Yeah, I wouldn't call it that, man. But anyways, Lima trying to bust this wall with Oryx and getting that down air to forward air just in the right percents to sweet spot that up. Now he's got him off stage again, so we'll see. Actually, Oryx getting right out of the ledge trap, firing back with what Lima had earlier and getting the percentages right back to even. And that's just the way that this game has been going. This has been a pendulum kind of game, and Lima really charging stitch. another stitch oh. that Oryx is just not going to deal with. He just didn't want it. He didn't, he didn't need it. I guess, I guess you will see more Stitch faces when you have two Peaches, huh? Yeah, double That's the just, percentage, man. It's still low, but... You know. Doubles the odds. Yeah, doubles the odds. Double or nothing, baby. But right now we're seeing last hit scenario, I believe it's... That was of, great. This is... I, I, I thought that was a Stitch for a second there. I got, no. I got excited. Oh, This being last hit for both players. What's this edge guard gonna be? I'm thinking down to two minutes, but the way this game has been going, it will not take that long for this game to finish. Yeah, unless both these players put their controllers down, there's no way this is going to time. The center stage hasn't been huge for Lima so far, but at these higher percents, it generally tends to shift in the favor of the person that has center stage. That was such a great float from Lima that, that he was able to kill. put that put that up. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that dash DI attack would have killed. Yep, that broken dash attack does not work. If it did, that definitely would have been the end of that stock. Oh! No! Had the perfect shield, but not gonna go for the punish. Yep, Peach Bomber. Pretty much safe against Peach on shield. This could be it. Fourth throw. Yep. Going to do it, yeah. So much knockback coming out from Peach with, with Rage. She doesn't have kill throws at early percents, but with Rage, her throws are monstrous. They scale pretty so big. Strong.